Hey guys, it's Charlie Bernanke's out today speaking to the fact that $600 billion of QE2 has rescued the economy and left it on firm enough ground that going forward will have a self-sustaining recovery. Now, if you subscribe to my point of view, this QE2 was done specifically to keep uh, equities up so his cronies on Wall Street could have one last hurrah before the whole thing came flying apart, and flying apart it is. Uh, I believe that you should make no mistake about it. That's where we are right now, collapse, utter collapse. And it's gaining velocity, it's gaining momentum, it's not getting better. You know, if we look at the last 400 days on this planet, I think it spells out the picture of where we're going um, and just because of this short period of history where we've been. You know, Ben Bernanke says the economy is getting better, but here we sit with record deficit in this country. <clears throat> we have record underemployment, record long-term unemployment, record food stamp usage, record market manipulation. We have a civil unrest in places like Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and it's spreading. 1% of the people of this nation control half uh, the wealth of the country. Our own government has to pa pass emergency budget extensions uh, just to keep the lights on. We have the largest oil spill in the history of the planet happen here uh, less than a year ago. We factor in Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, the Euro debt crisis which is back, food shortages, China's uh, making plastic rice to feed to its citizens now. You have gold rising and the dollar falling. You have killer quakes hit Haiti, Chile, Killer quakes hitting New Zealand, Japan, killer tsunami, killing thousands in Japan, causing a nuclear reactor to explode. And you have the government just telling you everything's okay in the mainstream media who's right in behind them telling you that, yay, Dow 12,000, we're in recovery. They think that uh, by saying the same message over and over again, the people will not panic as the ship sinks. I'm here to tell you. If your head's still in the sand and you think that these reports that come out by the mainstream media, that we're on track to recovery, if you, if you believe that to be true, then truly I think time has run out for you. You're not going to realize this shift is happening globally until it happens directly to you. If you're on the fence, this message is for you. If you think that maybe alternative media has something to say, you know, they keep telling me that I'm not being told the truth and pointing out facts that prove that you're not being told the truth. This is your last and final warning. You need to get mentally prepared for what's coming down the road. We are in the middle of crisis. It is accelerating. It's going to get much, much worse. The standard of living in this country is going to dramatically decrease. Get your mind around that because you don't want to be the guy who opens up the door one day and it hits him like a freight train. Stories are attached. That's all I got.